Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook. Well, welcome back in, and of course, happy Monday morning. We're kickstarting the new work week, the new school week as well. Same way as we ended last week. Warm and it's rather humid out the door. We got clear skies, thankfully, though. We see some stars as well. We see high pressure still over the area. The pesky high pressure that we've been talking about for quite some time now, keeping us rather dry and still rather hot. You can see some of the rain well off to the north of our region. Not going to be affecting our region, sadly. So not going to see much in the way for rainfall for today. But if you look on the sky cam, starting to see the first hints of some sunlight out there. And there's the moon, a little sliver of the moon this morning. A gorgeous start to our day so far, but it is warm out there, 81 degrees, feeling like 88 degrees, however. So, a warm start to the day as you go into the afternoon. Well, we're only going to get warmer and hotter by the afternoon hours. Getting to the lower hundreds for high temperatures across the region. About one or two, one or three here in Baton Rouge. Our record here in Baton Rouge for, for today is one or two. So we'll see if we hit that, but we have, still have a lot of humidity still in place. And so our heat index values still going to be ranging from about that 110 to maybe even up to 118 range by the afternoon. So as you look for your hour by hour planner, by lunchtime hour, we're going to be into those 90s, well into those triple digit heat index values. And we're going to be sitting in those triple digit heat index values until roughly about the 8 to 9 o'clock hour tonight. So really that really prone long heat we're going to be experiencing once again for today, which is why we have yet again another excessive, excessive heat warning in effect for the day for the entire viewing area. And you can see really for the most of the state of Louisiana and Mississippi for that matter too. So if you're going to be outdoors today, you want to make sure you do take your proper heat precautions, stay safe, stay cool as well, wear some light fitting clothing, and of course stay hydrated too. Now there is a little bit of a pattern change coming to our forecast. You see here's a the ridge of high pressure just parked over our region. Now as you go to about tomorrow, Tuesday, that begins to kind of split and move off to the west as this trough begins to move down from the north into the eastern side of the U.S. And what that does is it brings our upper air flow from the north and northwest. And at the surface, we're actually going to get a cold front to move into the area. Now, not really a true cold front that we would get toward October, December, even not really going to see any cold air behind it. So let's get to Monday first. We have a chance today for maybe a spotty shower storm overall coverage rather limited for today. But here comes that frontal boundary by Tuesday or so. And see behind it, we'll have those north North and northwesterly winds, and a, few, a chance for some showers and some storms, but still looking rather limited in coverage for our area. But these north and northwesterly winds will bring actually some drier air in place for our region. See, dew points still rather high for today and tomorrow as well, but by Wednesday and Thursday, into the 60s for those dew points. So, drier air is moving in, and that's thinking is going to help. With our heat index values won't be as oppressive as they have been. See, maybe we're not even hitting those triple digits for our Wednesday, so that's going to be a really welcome relief from that heat. But unfortunately, as you go for the back half of the week toward next weekend, that only begins to rise once again as those temperatures rebound and get warmer. So, looking at your 70 forecast, still at lower 100s today and tomorrow, but We'll have that chance for maybe a couple shower storms on Tuesday, and then that dry air moves in. You notice Wednesday, we may not even hit 100 degrees, so that would be a welcome surprise for us to get temperatures still rather hot, but just not as hot as it has been. But looking toward the back half of the week, from the weekend, have that chance for maybe a few showers and some storms, and those high temperatures rebound once again 